You're going to the Olympics here pretty soon. What are your thoughts on um, 2012 Olympics in London? Well, it's going to be a lot of good fights. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be there. I, uh, I didn't fought most of the opponents and most of the top guys, so I'm looking to get a gold medal, and I and I think I'm going to get that. And uh, Bob Arum just mentioned that uh, he wants you to fight at Cowboy Stadium for like your first professional fight. Are you signed with Top Rank yet? Oh, no, I'm not signed with Top Rank at all. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know exactly the rules of that much, so I'm assuming you can't sign yet, but yeah. that might be a way you'd obviously want to look. Yeah, that's the way I, that's, 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 um, you know, it's two options, Top Rank or uh, uh, Golden Boy right now, my two options, but, um, uh, yeah, they brought me out here, you know, uh, to, uh, to watch the fights and stuff, and, uh, you know, I like what I've seen. Well, first off, I want to ask you, what did you think of Nonito Donaire's fight against uh, Alfredo Vasquez? To me, that was the best fight of the evening. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it was a good fight. Uh, it went back and forth. At first, you know, I thought uh, Nonito was going to knock him out, but, um, you know, he came back. Vas um, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, Vasquez, you know, he came back, you know, fought hard and showed a lot of heart. It was a great fight. And what did you think of the main event with Chavez and uh, Rubio? Oh, that was a that was a that was a Ch that was a Chavez kind of fight. I like that fight. They went they went to war. Two Mexican warriors going to war. All right, great. This is Sean with Boxing Sources. Harold, how many how many fights do you have now in the amateurs? Probably 120. About 120. And what weight class are you fighting in the amateurs? Uh, 152 welterweight. 152. So I assume when you do turn pro, you want to fight at 147. I'm taking it. Oh uh, yes, sir. All right, so what, what did you think uh, overall about uh, e even the undercard or the whole card overall? What did you think? Oh, uh, man, the, the card was good. It was a lot of great fights. All the fights was, um, was, was exciting. You know, it was, it was crowd-friendly, and they gave everybody what they paid for. All right, let me ask you, is the temptation hard when you got Bob Arum, a big promoter like that, bringing you out, having you ringside, having you come up? Man, is it kind of luring you a little boy from Golden Boy? or, or do, what, What's your team like? You have a good team behind you? Oh, uh, yeah, I have a great team, uh, me, my dad, and my coach. Okay. Um, and uh, right now I'm focused on the Olympics, you know, 2012, get, get the gold medal for America. We've been on the uh, slope right now, and right now I'm just focused on the gold medal. Okay, okay, you get some pretty good sparring in right now. How many rounds do you usually do preparing for the Olympics? What's your training like, preparing for uh, something that big? Well, usually every day I, um, I hit the back ten rounds, hit the mid six rounds, and when I spar, I spar probably six rounds. Okay, what, what city and state are you out of? Uh, I live in DeSoto, Texas. Okay, DeSoto, Texas, okay. All right, back over to you. And I wanted to, uh, to ask you, you said you want to go to 147. Um, if we look at the landscape, the two best fighters right now, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, they're at 147. Do you try to emulate anything from either one of their styles to put into your style? Uh, nah, nah, not really. Um, I kind of, I like how Floyd, how, how calm he is in his mental game. You know, I watch him a lot. How calm he is, his composure. And how he places punches, he don't try to throw them too hard. He's just real fast. You know, I like Floyd Mayweather, I like Manny Pacquiao. I like him a lot. Remember when we had you on our radio show, we asked you the question, but I'm going to ask it again. Andre Ward, last American to get a gold medal. But what did it mean to you to bring that home for America? Oh, it mean, it, mean, it mean everything, man. Uh, this is my country. Uh, I got a lot of uh, national pride. And it mean, it mean the world to me to bring gold medal and bring uh, USA back on top. And yeah, last question, you have a message for the fans out there. Uh, look out for the USA uh, boxing team, uh, Olympic team. Uh, we're going to get a lot of gold medals. How can, how can we follow you on the social media? You got a Facebook or Twitter we can follow you at? Yeah, I got a Twitter, at Earl Spence, at Earl Spence Jr. Uh, my Facebook, at Earl Spence Jr. too. Just type in my name, you'll find me. All right, wait, if the people if the people talk to you, will you respond back or is your management team? Oh, you, no. You, you control your own Twitter? Yeah, it's, it's okay. me. It's me. I respond back. So you do respond back to your fans? Yeah, I respond back to everybody. I talk to everybody, have conversations with everybody. You know, I try to place myself as a normal guy, normal person. Okay, great. Good luck in London. Thank you.